fear had found the skeletons go here. Heroes hearts. <laughs> Speaking of skeletons, Deeply troubled, their minds began to fill with woe. The night had not eaten in many hours, and the scent of meat had not <laughs> made it any easier. Whoa. The thief started to worry if she would ever be free again. Oh God. And the wizard. Well, he was concerned that they would never find the other Pontius only cares about food. The Pontius is an anime hero. Where was he smelling meat? <laughs> he didn't mind having some company, but stuck with him. That's not good meat. <laughs> They're skeletons. <laughs> There's bats. Like the bats? Is he just talking about the bats? He just collects them up afterward and eats them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that plank did not need to... No, it's be there. It's just there to kind of freak you out a little bit, because like this water is is acid, so if you fall in it, you get hurt. The carpet's lava. Yeah. But thankfully, these skeletons jump perfectly into Montes's range, so he can knock them in. Except for that guy. Or you. Yeah. <laughs> Same difference. Somebody's going in. I was just gonna use the grappling hook to jump up there, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something different. I have a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make use of them. Or they can drop their shields. Yeah. If you just pump enough damage into them, then they'll drop their shields. It's usually easier yeah. with with uh, Zoya. She puts out arrows a lot faster than Pontius can hit them. Agile fat man. <laughs> He's pretty quick on his feet. Him and Rufus from Street Fighter should have a thing. <laughs> Rufus is fire bow. So now we get a new gimmick introduced in this level. Zoya gets her fire bow. I've seen wizards like torches with fire. Which lets her. Can you? I guess I can wait until after they're done talking. Then they never. It's a waste of time. I should have known. I could light Yum. the torches with fire arrows. I could light the torches too. <laughs> Pontius just wants to be in Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the fire from the skeletons actually does light up the place. Yeah. It's a nice touch. So there are torches, and Zoya can light them with her new fire bow. She can also break planks with them. Um, also, Pontius. And if... burn spider webs. Yeah. Well, if there were any spider webs to burn. <laughs> um, but Pontius can also light the torches if he just hits them with his sword. I don't know how that works exactly, but... It makes sparks. <laughs> he literally was talking about how he can't do. Yeah. <laughs> the sheer force of will. He believes <laughs> hard enough. <laughs> he, he is a 40k orc. But actually, it does make sense now, because if we take our three points and put them into his sword... He gets his fire sword. Right. Well, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Oh. Do she fire arrows do more do damage that. too? Sorry? Do fire arrows do more damage too? Yeah, they do. Oh, cool. We can right. increase the damage they do, but I'm going to hold on to those because if we upgrade her bow again, now she shoots three arrows at once. <laughs> so now Zoya gets a little bit more ridiculous. I don't usually use the fire bow that much for actual combat, because it's not that different. It's just kind of, it explodes a little bit and knocks them back, which I think her normal arrows do anyway, so. And if she's firing three arrows at a time, it just makes more sense that the damage output is just higher that way. <laughs> just just <the> arrows <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Pray and pray. That's the Zoya way. Is Zoya one of those Call of Duty people? Uh, maybe. Not that I have anything against them. <laughs> Except you're all thieves. The Lotsia. There's these blue glowing balls that you can use for light too. Hmm. Which are kind of a neat little set piece. Why are they there? Who cares? <laughs> Doesn't matter. 
They're blue and glowing. Mm -hmm. There's actually, it's really hard to see from up here, but there's a little pit of acid directly beneath us. And if you fall in there, you'll, you'll hurt yourself, so... That's why you want to knock the crate down. Or you could just summon one and do the same thing. There, there's usually an you know, easy cause... way and a hard way to do things. And it usually involves Zoya. Yeah. Get the soccer ball. Let's go. <laughs> it's a neat little, like, lighting effect, though. Yeah. I think the more it moves, the, the brighter it gets, too. Motion base. Light up the place. The skeleton was hiding a secret. That secret is progress. Oh. The best kind of secrets. <laughs> The most elusive secret. Yeah. <laughs> You're an architect. <laughs> there are spider webs. And there's some, yeah. You can't burn, burn them. them. Burn them. Also, since Zoya is shooting three arrows at a time, she's pretty much ridiculous. And so, like, this area shows up and it's like, oh no, skeletons are coming from both sides. But they just come one at a time, and so Zoya just picks them off. Well, yeah, they use kung fu movie rules. <laughs> yeah. And there's just absolutely no challenge here at all. What a great game. <laughs> I wish Time. to play it and have a sequel. The sequel's pretty Perhaps good. Perhaps with multiplayer. <laughs> um, yeah. I hope there's more skeletons. I don't know how, but somehow the, that fire-breathing skeleton was breaking the boxes on the other side of the coffins. He's just too good. He he was hacking. Ban skeleton for hacks. Skeleton OP. Ban skeleton. No skeletons. Fun destination. <laughs> the grave. <laughs> skeletons only. They should just put it like a character in Smash Brothers that's just skeleton, like not from <laughs> any game, a skeleton. Just, just skeleton. He's from every game. <laughs> yeah, I guess he has a different move from each game. Well, PlayStation All Stars already has that. <laughs> I think in the the Castlevania Judgment, the fighting game, I think there is a skeleton character. That's oh. awesome. Excellent. But he had a really weird design. Whatever character did in that game, but. Oh, wait I didn't a even... There was a skeleton in. Like, there's been a lot of skeleton fighting games. Yeah. And we are behind the times. <laughs> Has there? Hey, guys, do you play video games? Because apparently I don't. I played this video game. I've never heard of a video game. Alright. We gotta get on that, because there's apparently. <laughs> They're awesome. Yeah, there's, there's a few. So I've got... heard that Angry Birds is quite the treat. <laughs> uh, Angry Birds. Indeed. Purchase it now on your Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> but don't get too angry. <laughs> oh, you. Angry Birds jingle. There you go, Angry Birds. Give us a check. Do they have a jingle? I, I don't, I don't think so. Listen, I just told them to give us a check. Don't question me. Alright. <laughs> don't ruin this. <laughs> we, we've got this. There's a few ways to solve this puzzle. Um, you can either use the box to swing across, or you can fix the bridge. You can fall in the acid. What kind of bridge? It's a suspension bridge. See, now the skeletons are, are wrecking the place. Okay. They're like knocking the bridges down. It, don't blame them for that. <laughs> That's just poor city planning. Just because they're skeletons, you gotta automatically <laughs> assume they wreck the place. Skeletons walking around just Skeleton breaks. breaking up the joint, listening to their hip-hop. There hip -hop goes the and... neighborhood. <laughs> this game is basically about skeleton rights. B. 
being smashed. I really want there to be like a skeleton Martin Luther King. I oh God. I actually now that I think about this, I like non ironically want there to be a game where you play as a skeleton in like a random adventure game. But it's like it's from your perspective, so it's like there's this guy going around like murdering all of your friends. So it's survival horror. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you're just playing as a skeleton. It's just not like any name skeleton or anything, just a skeleton. So it's like you're just a mindless skeleton, and then one day you kind of wake up and you're like, "What am I? Oh God, that guy has a sword." Something like. And it's on just fire. Like, just com presented from a completely different point of view. I think that would be funny. I'm sure something Get like it has it been done before, but... <laughs> Alright, Blizzard, you heard it. I just, Get on it. I, I imagine it to be like a Castlevania Ew. game, except from the skeleton's point of view. And you can only move in like this, <laughs> like two feet. Yeah. <laughs> just back and forth. Catch word that Belmont is coming. It's, oh, man. I got one chance How at this. How appropriate. Belmont and bats. Yep. Wait, do the bats just sit on the ceiling if they're far enough away from you? Some of them do. They like, they take attack runs at you. So they'll like fly around for a bit and bug you and then they'll go away. Come back. I think you just... Maverick! More bats. So many bats. So many arrows. <laughs> so I heard a roar. Yep. Something's roaring yeah, in the some... background. Oh, I'm spooked. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. I hate these bridges. <laughs> There's two bridges here. But you don't want to fix the one on the left because it hides a secret underneath it. A troll? Uh, a treasure. I got three riddles for you. I don't know what those three rooms would be. <laughs> no, skeleton rights. Okay. Yeah. Just going back to skeleton rights. That works. The riddle of skeleton rights. <laughs> <laughs> we got bracers. I have skeleton rights. <laughs> Skele bracers. We gotta cover our tracks. Well, Bill Clinton's been busy again. Yeah. Yep. Also, funny that you should mention trolls, because that's <laughs> pretty much our next character, our enemy type. Holy shit! <laughs> Something that is not a skeleton. You can't hurt him from the, the front. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> got, got to hit him in his back. Oh. Well, he's dead. Yeah, he dies too quick. This derivative non-skeleton bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a fully upgraded sword, and that kind of helps. So here, Excellent. your first instinct would be to pull that lever and lower the drawbridge. But if you do that, you lock yourself out of this little area. Of fabulous prizes. Of two more orbs yep. and more achievements. Yep. <laughs> and why would you want to deny yourself an achievement? I got really confused here because I could not figure out like what was blocking me. But there's like there's a grate here. I was thinking like, is it planks? Can I break them? I don't know. And then I realized that there's a lever directly beneath me, but I walked right past it because it blends in with everything. Oh, that is yep. very well hidden. Yeah. <laughs> and that giant prompt to pull levers yeah, just blends in with <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. I'm, I'm dumb. Also, there's spikes on the bottom of that drawbridge for some reason. I saw that, I was like, does it actually kill you, like, Sierra game style? Like... I don't know if it actually does damage to you, if you, because I don't think you can get there, but I might have to test that. 